While the new look will be quite similar to the old look of CU Base, there are many improvements you'll find in the new look. One of the biggest improvements you'll notice is that options will be easier to find. For example, the large buttons at the bottom of your screen in the current look are not labeled. In the new look, these buttons will be labeled for easier identification. Another improvement relates to the toolbar currently located in the top left corner of your screen. In the new look, this toolbar will be placed in the bottom left corner, along with the network links, answer book, and online help buttons, so that all options will be conveniently in one spot. As an added convenience, this toolbar will also appear in all pop-up windows. In addition to the toolbar, the menu and speed sequence fields will also be relocated in the new look. These fields are currently in the bottom right corner of your screen. In the new look, these fields will move to the bottom left corner of your screen. Additionally, the term speed sequence will change to shortcut. Another change relates to the speed sequence label, which currently appears in the top right corner of your screen. In the new look, this label will move to the bottom right corner of your screen. One last field that will be moved is the search bar that is currently below the menu and speed sequence fields. In the new look, this will be located in the top right corner of your screen for easy access. In addition to making things easier to find, we're also saving space in the new look to make room for more options in the future. One way we're saving space relates to the large pictures that currently appear in the top left corner of screen such as this one, accessible via MNServe number 13. In the new look, these pictures will be removed so there's more space available for options to be added in the future. Another way we're using space more efficiently is by making many full-size screens into smaller pop-up windows. For example, currently when you go to MNServe number 13, you're brought to a page on which most of the space is unused. In the new look, this page will be a pop-up window instead. Another way we're updating the look of CU Base is by removing the function key labels from buttons. For example, in the current look, the button on this screen is labeled Denied F10. In the new look, this button will simply be labeled Denied. Although buttons in the new look will not display function key labels, the function keys themselves will not change from what they have always been. So if you're used to pressing F7 instead of clicking Cancel, for example, you still can. To view the function key that corresponds to an individual button, simply hover over the button. To view the function keys that correspond to all buttons on your screen, right-click on the screen. In addition to removing function key labels, we're also removing the back, up, and cancel buttons, since the back and up arrows serve the same purpose. For example, in the current look, you would click Cancel F7 to go back. In the new look, you'll simply click the back arrow. In addition to the back arrow, many other useful options will also be included in the toolbar on the bottom left corner of your screen. The forward arrow will act as a select button or enter key and direct you to the next screen. For example, if you select option 4 from the Lending Functions menu and then select an account base and click the forward arrow, you'll be directed to the next screen, just as you would by clicking Select or pressing Enter. The up arrow will act as an exit or cancel button and take you out of the page you're viewing and back to the menu option that brought you to the page. So from this screen, if you clicked the up arrow, you would be directed back to the Lending Functions menu. To the right of the arrow buttons, you'll notice the pause button, which will function the same as the hand or timeout button. The printer button will function the same as it currently does.
The Chain button will function the same as the Network Links button. The I button will function the same as the Learn About This Feature button. It will bring you to the online help topic that corresponds to the page you're viewing. The Question button will function the same as the current one does. The options accessible via the Question button will also be accessible from a new menu bar located along the top edge of your screen. This menu bar will additionally contain a few new tools such as a calculator and a calendar. The App button will function the same as the Answer Book button. One final improvement you'll notice in the new look is a fresh new color scheme that's not only visually appealing but functional as well. Anything orange is clickable or sortable. For example, when I search for the word account, I get many different search results. To help me find what I'm looking for more quickly, I can order my search results alphabetically by title if I click the heading that reads title. The only exception to this is anything that is dark orange, which indicates something that is normally clickable but that is temporarily non-clickable. For example, in the current look, if a member doesn't have any outstanding follow-ups, then the follow-ups button in Phone Operator will not appear. However, in the new look, this button will appear, but it will be dark orange to signify that it's temporarily non-clickable, meaning the member doesn't currently have any outstanding follow-ups to read. Additionally, any red exclamation point in Phone Operator or Inquiry indicates a warning or red flag, and any orange exclamation point simply means that there is information to be read, such as comments. These are all the improvements you'll notice in the new look coming to CU Base Gold.